Today I fucked up by taking my friend's fiancé out for a drink. This happened two weeks ago. I, F, met my friend's, M, fiancé a couple of months ago when he moved with her back to his hometown. The fiancé and I got on well enough and we tentatively started to form a friendship. The night before their wedding, my friend stayed over at his brother's. I stayed the night at their house with the bride. She had no friends or family in town and I was by default the bridesmaid. Feeling kind of sorry for her for not having had a bachelorette party or anyone around, I suggested that we go out to have a few drinks, celebrate her last few hours of singlehood. She agreed. I ordered a beer and a tequila each for the first round, thinking that we'd start with a shooter, have a few beers and end off with a shooter, nothing wild. I didn't want to be the cause of a severely hungover bride. After the first tequila hit her stomach, she changed, became more animated, I put it down to just pre-wedding excitement. No one told me that she was a recovering addict who hasn't had a drink in four years. No one. In the past when I visited, my friend and myself would drink beer and she wouldn't, I always thought that it was because she wasn't particularly fond of beer or alcohol. I have lots of girlfriends like that, who will only drink on certain occasions. But I like beer, the Honorable. Brett Kavanaugh. The bride started chugging beers and shooters like a frat boy. I tried to stop her, she wouldn't listen to reason. She became more and more aggressive, so I just backed off. Had I known then what I know now, I would have made a bigger effort, even if that may have meant a black eye or bloody nose for me. As Murphy would have it, she chose the exact moment to go to the restroom as a girl who was doing lines in the stall next to hers. The bride asked and got given. Anything for the bride, right? Oh my god, oh wonderful, you're getting married tomorrow. Here's another, the night went downhill from there. She was like a freight train, with me barely hanging on. She phoned her husband-to-be and told him that the wedding was off, that she's changed her mind. I felt like dog shit. I eventually managed to get her home at around 04 HOO. He was waiting for her. She screamed at him and he shouted at me. They postponed the wedding. I feel so, so bad. I never wanted to cause shit for either one of them. Too long did not read. I took my friend's fiancé out for a drink the night before their wedding thinking I was doing a nice thing. Didn't realize that she was a recovering addict and the wedding got postponed. Thought this was gonna be a story about how you accidentally banged her or something. But Jesus that was wild. She could have mentioned her issue. They say people who relapse do it mentally before they take the physical actions. Don't sweat it. He could have said something, she could have said something, neither of them did. Not your fault. At least you didn't fuck her person shrugging light skin tone mail sign. Yikes. This was a proper cock up but certainly not one of your doing. She knew better as a recovering addict that going out, for a couple of drinks, was going to end up drinking and snorting everything available. Not your foo she should have known to decline an offer of drinks. Tifu by doing weed with a hookup. Last night I brought this girl from Tinder back to my place. We had sex, and after she offered me an edible. I figured sure why the hell not. An hour passed and I didn't feel anything so I took a second. An hour after that, the only thought at my head was food, so I started cooking and then my entire reality started falling apart. I forgot the girl's name, I was confused about why she was in my house, I was so hungry but couldn't figure out how to actually eat the food I made, and was overall so zoned out that eventually I literally forgot the girl was there even when she was talking to me. I thought it was a hallucination of my inner voice. It took me 14 hours to sober up. Probably the worst hookup story ever and I'm never doing weed again. Too long did not read. Got too high and ruined the night. Edit. OMG y'all I fucking get it I phrased it really weird loudly crying loudly crying I was in a small religious school my whole life okay I'm out here trying to experience the world ASAP. An hour passed and I didn't feel anything so I took a second. And it was in this moment I knew I'd fucked up. Ah yes. I too remember my first time dropping pot. Nobody who uses the term, doing weed, should be eating edibles. Taking edibles as your first experience with weed is not smart ha ha ha. A teeny tiny little puff of dirt weed from a pipe had me running around laughing my ass off my first time. Ah, the first lesson a fresh stoner learns. Never underestimate an edible. Hopefully she didn't rob you while you were drugged up. Today I fucked up by forgetting my friend with benefits has a flatmate. This happened last night, when I, 18F, was staying overnight with one of my FWBs, who I'll call Jake, 21M. 
After we were done having sex Jake fell asleep. Not long after he did I got out of bed to put the condom in the bin and then went to the kitchen to get a glass of water. I was very tired at this point and decided not to put my clothes back on. This was about 1 in the morning. There I was just standing there in the kitchen sipping my water when I heard a door open. I thought it was just Jake so I didn't think anything of it. It's not like he hasn't seen everything anyway. Then another, fully clothed, guy walks in. Now I remember. Jake has a flatmate, who I'll call Darren. I had seen Darren once before when I was at Jake's flat, but that was just in passing. I had completely forgot about him. Now he has just walked in on me totally naked in his own kitchen. At this point I decided to just play it casual. He asked what I was doing and I said I was just staying over with Jake. Then I smiled, said good night and put the glass in the sink and headed back to Jake's room like nothing was happening. I am still absolutely mortified. Too long did not read. I was spending the night with a FWB and went to get a glass of water without getting dressed. His flatmate who I'd forgot about saw me in my birthday suit. You couldn't have handled it better. Some people tend to actually overreact in cases of nudity. You may feel somewhat shy, but you handled it like an adult. You fucked up the dismount but nailed the landing. You'll laugh about this for years. At least you handled it like a goddamn champion. This happened to me once, except reversed. I was getting home and ran into a buddy's FWB. She cursed at me, yelled, and threw a bottle at me and told me to leave. Looking at her confused, I said, B. I live here. She never came around again. Buddy realized she was crazy lol. Good for you for having a chill attitude about what happened. Don't feel too mortified. I can almost guarantee he's buddy doesn't even think about it anymore. Only if it get brought up again haha. You made two guys night. Well now both Jake and Darren have had the the benefit of your friendship. Today I fucked up by kicking a kid into a swimming pool. So me and my family were on vaccination. The place we were staying at was very beautiful and there was so much to do. This resort also had a water slide, and at my grown age, I had to ride it. Me and my younger brother were having a competition for who could go down the slide the fastest. He went down first and I had timed him on my phone, his time was 13 seconds. Determined to beat him I sat on the slide and pushed myself down the slide. I can say that I was very fast, in fact I was so fast I didn't notice the kid sitting at the bottom of the slide. I tried using my arms to slow myself down and I even tried yelling at the kid to move but it was too late. My feet had made contact with this poor child's back and he went flying into the swimming pool. Luckily he wasn't hurt but he was crying because I had shocked him. I will admit I started crying as well because his parents were understandably angry with me. After a while when I had calmed down they explained that they understood I was just having fun but that I should be careful next time I go down the slide. I've not left our hotel room for two days now because I'm pretty ashamed of myself. My family thinks it's so funny and won't let it go. I guess I deserve this. Too long did not read. Dot. I kicked a kid into a swimming pool due to irresponsible water slide racing and cried when their parents got mad at me. Nah that kid should not have been sitting on the bottom of the slide and the parents should not have been mad at you or let the kid do that. Kid was being frickin' stupid, and he learned why you don't sit around at the bottom of a slide. So me and my family were on vaccination skull. It was actually your brother who put the child there so you'd slow down and he beats you. You didn't fuck up. Fuck those other parents and fuck that other kid. What kind of stupid ass kid sits on the bottom of a waterside and what kind of stupid ass parents lets their kid do that? Man get out of the room don't waste your holiday. 